Hey guys, before we get started with the video, I just want to do a little quick announcement. Um, I just want to apologize because I messed up my audio a little bit. I had the game audio set a little too high and unfortunately I don't know how to separate my game audio and my voice audio yet. So um, <laughs> that's a bit of an issue and it will be kind of annoying during the video and I'm really sorry about that. But I hope you can still watch it and enjoy it and I appreciate you watching so much. Thank you! Hello guys, what's up? My name is Hollow, and today we are starting a brand new LP. We are starting our teen runaway challenge. So this is our teen, Kari Marks. She is going to be the star of this new LP, um, but she's not going to be the only player that we're starting with. We're also going to start with her parents. So you can see we have her mom, Corinne, and her dad, Thomas. So I went into a deep dive where I'd really talked about all of them individually and talked about all their traits and everything in their cast setup. Um, so I'm really only going to talk about Kari now. If you want to see her parents stuff, I'll put a, um, I'll put like the little, <laughs> I forgot what it's called, <laughs> the little tab up in the corner so you can check those videos out. But, um, they're just in the beginning of the playlist if you want to go look at them. Um, I did a full deep dive in cast where I talked about all their traits and their aspirations and everything and sort of gave an idea of what the challenge is going to be. Uh, but since we're getting started, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Kari. So Kari's aspiration currently is academic, but that's only because that's the aspiration her parents have for her. So that'll be changing as she's actually making up her mind and deciding to run away and pursue her own dreams. Um, but her traits are squeamish and creative. So we'll get into a little bit more of what that means as we go on in the story. Um, before we get started, I just want to go over the basic rules that I'm going to be following for this challenge. So the Teen Runaway Challenge is pretty popular. It's been around for a couple years and um, it has its own set of rules. I'm not going to use like exactly the rules that were published. Like if you want to go find them, you can online. You can just look it up really easily. But I'm using like a slightly modified rule, so I'm going to just tell you the ones that I'm going to be using. Um, so the first rule is that she starts with zero simoleons and no house. That's pretty important. So she's going to move out on her own and be her own person and have no money, no house, like nothing to her. Probably the only thing that I'll leave her with is her guitar and her camera. The second rule is no electronics until you can build a house. So for this one, it's a little challenging because Sims autonomously use their phones like every second of the day. So uh, we have to try to avoid that. I'm going to try my best with this one, but it is kind of hard because of that autonomy. But um, like whenever I see her pull out her phone or something, I'm going to get rid of it until she has a house. Now, it's important to know that for this house, for, I mean, for this challenge, a house is specified as a kitchen, a bathroom, and a bedroom. So as long as you have like a bed, a toilet, a sink, a fridge, and a counter, you technically have everything you need to make a kitchen, a bathroom, and a bedroom. So that counts as a house, basically. You don't have to actually build the full building. You just have to have the means to take care of yourself, essentially. And once you have that, then you can have electronics. And that also plays into the next rule, because for the next rule, you're not allowed to have a job as a teen. But when you become an adult, you can get a job if you have a house. Um, once you get that, you can actually get a job as long as your teen has become an adult. The next rule is no using other people's homes. So that means like you can't just go into your neighbor's house and be like, hey, can I borrow sh your shower or can I grab some food? You have to go to like community lots for stuff like that. So if you want a shower, you have to go to the gym. If you want some food, you have to wait around in a park for someone to grill for you, you know, stuff like that. Um, the next rule is no school, which is pretty important because like from just like the logical standpoint, if you were a kid who ran away from home and you just went to school, like your parents would find you like immediately, like they'd check at school. So it's just like, you, you can't do that in a teen runaway challenge. Uh, but the last rule is to avoid adults. Um, this one I just sort of added in, like I, was, I wasn't really sure about it when I was doing the cast videos, but now I know that I wanna try it. Um, for this rule, like in the original challenge, you're supposed to avoid adults like at all costs, like you can't even talk to adults. But in this one, like, I don't really care if she talks to adults. I just don't want her to have any close relationships with an adult. Because I feel like if, like, a random adult met a teen in passing, 
they wouldn't really care like what their whole situation is but if they get to know you whether it's good or bad like whether they become your friend or your enemy they're gonna have a reason to look into like what's going on with you and be like why isn't this kid with their parents that sort of thing so we're gonna try to avoid any close relationships with adults but uh yeah now that we've got the basics of the rules and everything started we can go ahead and jump into the game all right guys so here we are in game with kari you can see she's actually playing chess right now um we've got her, i've already set her up with some friends and stuff and joined some clubs so you can see she's in knights of the hedge which is basically the chess club and she's in a club i made called honor students which is just like a bunch of other students here so you can see she's actually playing chess with wolfgang munch and i can sort of show you the sort of edits i've already made so you can see sort of what sort of style I'm going to be bringing to the game. So this is my sort of edit to Wolfgang. So you can Crazy. sort of see the type of edits I'm going to be making to other characters. Wolfgang isn't the only teen that I've edited. Um, I've given her a couple little friends. So like everybody who's in her clubs pretty much has gotten edited. Like, well, all the teens anyways, because that's who she's going to be hanging out with. So you can see I've done Wolfgang Munch, uh, Malcolm Landgrab, Ooh. Kyoshi Ito, uh -oh. Luna Villarreal, Neck. Rohan Elderberry, uh. Cassandra Goth, Jeb Harris, and Yuki Bear. So all of those guys are some of her friends, um, people that she knows from clubs huh. and everything. And huh. she'll be hanging out with them hopefully hmm. as the story goes on. <laughs> Otherwise I did a lot of CC work for no reason. Kari just got back from school, uh -huh. so she's just sort of chilling out. She brought Wolfgang home with her. Um, I feel like Wolfgang probably isn't someone her parents really like, but they let him hang out because he plays chess, and they're like, you know what, it's fine. She's doing the chess stuff. Oh, he got pissed. He just totally wiped those out. Okay. Never actually seen a sim do that, so that's interesting. But let's see, what does Kari want to do? Oh, she's about to go do her homework. She's such a good kid. See, she does just so much good work for her parents all the time. She always wants to go do her homework. She's very responsible like that. Oh, speaking of responsible, I should tell you some of her character value traits and stuff. She has really good character values, except in conflict resolution, because she's constantly, like, arguing with her parents and everything about what she should be doing. So I'll have Kari go ahead and do her homework. Um, Wolfing's just sort of hanging out here now. <laughs> From All right, yeah. Linda. So I feel like this is a pretty typical Yamisha. sort of night for Kari, where she brings Mugi one of her Pichi? friends over, but Go instead on. of hanging out with her friends, uh -huh. she's doing schoolwork. You know, so she's Wallacoy. focusing on a project Gorsh instead of just like, hanging out with Wolfgang. Oh, but also, yeah. like, her mom's Tom helping her with the project, but dad's just Genesis. sort of, like, observing. Thomas is just <sighs> sort of standing over and making Denise? sure work's getting done. Uh, and, like, maybe he'll offer some encouragement yes. or something, but he's not really going to um, help out with the project. Good job. And oh, Fabi he does not like Wolfgang. Oh, 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 but at least they yes. finished it. He helped yes. out with the project. Oh. <laughs> they did a good with job. With Daba Farrakh was Susa. Noosh Guma. With a glass. That's a cute little thing she can put in her room. Some Frida. Grump Tebow. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this in her inventory. Move off. Nerkska. Sapula. Flareeb Essenoy. Brainem Dubma. Okay, well, it looks like Mom's Blingo. sort of getting along Nervous with Wolfgang, shopping, huh? but not so much Dad. Dad said he didn't like Go him. Um, uh -huh. See how they actually uh, think about him. Uh -huh. uh, if I can see. Kanira, Simbo, oh, why is he sad? Quisp, Thomas, why are Lumbic, you sad? Yarna, hey. Getting hurt. Oh, right. He's hurt because him and Kari had a fight this morning. Um, I didn't get it on camera. Um, but he and Kari actually had a fight this morning before school. She was uh, playing her music. Like, she'd already finished her homework and everything, but she was just playing her music, vibing out, and he was not happy with that. He wanted her to be more focused and getting ready for school. So um, they got into an argument, and she like it was a no-win scenario is what the um, the thing they got for it was but he, for whatever reason he's the one who got hurt by the argument instead of kari okay sometimes anger management sometimes i get so angry that i don't know what to do with myself how can i deal with things when i can't even um so i feel like maybe this is something where she's talking about 
like she is this little anger inside where she's mad at her parents that they won't let her just do her music but she's not ready to tell them that yet so she's sort of talking she's sort of thinking about it and what her parents would say i feel like her parents would well who's she asking i think she's talking to her mom it's like if she was talking to her mom i think her mom would tell her to talk it through but if she was talking to her dad i think he'd tell her to do a workout because he'd want her to do something productive to get her mind off of it but i feel like if i think she's talking to her mom so i think we'll have her talk it through okay and yep she was talking to her mom corinne has advised kari affecting her character values cool all right so mom can just help her out with her extra credits Join Merchie mm, she's done with that. We can go somewhere We can have her do some other stuff. We'll have her take care of her needs and head to bed. Maybe play some music before she actually goes to sleep. Oh no, she won't because it's two a.m. It is two a.m. How did I not realize that? Oh, so bad. It's literally two in the morning, and I'm just having her making, just having her do her homework and everything. Having her dad cook dinner. Oh my god. I'm so bad at time management in The Sims. So I'm just going to go ahead and start queuing up her stuff to take care of her needs, and let's let her go to bed. Alright, so I went ahead and put her little robot that they made up on her shelf, and she's finally heading to bed. Uh, it's going to be a rough morning for her, she's not going to get a lot of sleep before school. But it's, we're going to go ahead and send her to sleep. Um, try to take care of her parents and get them in bed too. <laughs> All right, so it's the next day, and we're sending Kari off to school. Everybody pretty much just woke up. Unfortunately, Kari didn't get to eat before school, but that's my fault for making her stay up till 2 in the morning. My bad. Okay, we got a pop-up for Kari. So, outdoor studying. The teacher announces some outdoor studying time to get the kids out of the classroom for a while. Should Kari take her studying outside, or just go hang outside with her friends until it's time to go back in? Um, she would study. That's just the way Kari is. Uh, she made the productive, non-privileged choice, and she got an extra half hour of study time in. Excellent. This will definitely make a difference come college application time. Yep, that's exactly what your dad would want. Alright, so Kari is home, and she's incredibly tense from school. Probably doing that extra study and kind of made her irritated. Oh, dry skin. Let me get her a face a skin routine. Oh, why did I click that? <laughs> uh, slice of life, skincare, daily treatments. There you go. That should make you feel better. But, um, and now she's instantly feeling focused. But I'm gonna, uh, pretend that she's still a little upset. Because the masks are a little bit OP. Like, <laughs> she just put on a mask, so now she feels amazing. <laughs> Although she was totally stressed before. So I'm gonna have her actually go upstairs and start playing her guitar for a little bit. Because, like, normally Kari would come home and do her homework straight away, but tomorrow is actually Harvest Fest, so, um, it's essentially, like, Thanksgiving, so she's not gonna have any school tomorrow, so it shouldn't be any big deal for her to go up and just play her guitar for a little bit and just lay off her homework for a little while. It shouldn't really bother anybody, because she's got plenty of time to do it. It's a holiday, right? Not really the vibe I thought she would go for, but it doesn't sound bad. She's definitely doing pretty good. Um, I think her guitar skill is like level 6, I think. Let me check. Yeah, she's level 6. So she's still, she's pretty good. She's not like amazing or anything yet, but she's pretty good. And she does really enjoy it, so. Oh, Rohan wants to hang out. Okay, so Rohan is another one of her friends, and, you know, it's Harvest Fest, her parents aren't home, like, well, it's about to be Harvest Fest, Harvest Fest is tomorrow, so, like, she doesn't need to do her homework or anything yet, so I think she's gonna go ahead and go. But if it did, I'm totally keeping it in. <laughs> yeah, Alright guys, so we just loaded Hot into spot. Rohan's house. And we have an attractiveness alert, which is interesting. 
Wow, what a sim. Kari Marks just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at Rohan Elderberry. That man has so many of the qualities that makes Kari's hearts race. As if they're as if it were on a cross-country marathon. Their handsome features met Kari's desire so readily that it's almost as if whatever created such a sim sculpted him perfectly for them. <laughs> wow. I mean, I edited him, but I didn't think you were going to like him. Jeez. All right, because like, when I made Rohan, I didn't exactly make him to my taste. I just made, like, I tried to keep him a little bit more, um, like, himself. So that's interesting. Oh. But let's go get a look at the guy Kari's so into. Right, so this is the guy that Kari has found herself <laughs> getting attracted to. Um, his name's Rohan. Rohan Elderberry. So you can see him here. Apparently he looks like he's a little sad today. Don't yeah, know what exactly funny. happened. But Kari's trying to cheer him up. And you can see because of the slice of life mod, Kari's got really blushy cheeks. Oh, well, she walked away. So hold on. Now you can see she's got cute blushy cheeks. So that's what Slice of Life does. Um, yeah, it's like little overlays and stuff. So she's got a cute little blushing one because she's feeling flirty because she just thinks Rohan is so attractive. Hey, right, so Kari's just sort of hanging out with Rohan. Don't know why he's standing by himself. But it's also kind of awkward because like Kari's talking to Rohan, but their gra his grandparents are talking right next to her, but they're not talking to each other. So like. It's a little bit of an awkward, like, crossover conversation. <laughs> yeah, no, it's literally across because they're talking there and they're talking there. Interesting. I don't even know if she knows his grandparents. She should probably introduce herself. Yeah. Yeah. But apparently Rohan is pretty uncomfortable, so he's looking kind of sad today. A sad thing about Rohan is I don't know if we're going to be able to hang out with him when she actually runs away. Because the reason she knows Rohan is from um, her club. Yeah, so Rohan is actually a member of the Honor Students Club with her. So, um, unfortunately... Like, I don't think any of these kids would really support her in her decision. Ah. Ooh, white screen. I don't think any of these kids would support her in her decision to run know. away from home to pursue her music. I feel like all of these guys would be pretty big on so her staying in school and doing her homework. Me? Because Galoof. that's literally what their whole club is about. Like, their club activities are do homework, do research, program, read, and right so i don't think any of them are really gonna be super into her running off and chasing her music and oh my god she stinks <laughs> okay <laughs> kari um and once again she's hanging out with a friend but instead of actually talking to him and spending time with him she's doing her homework because that's just what her parents have like drilled into her head she was like trying to avoid it but it, like she started to feel guilty she went out to hang out with a friend she felt guilty about it like so she feels like she has to do her homework even though tomorrow's a holiday and she's not even gonna have class Rohan looks really pissed Oh, what's up with him? Yeah, okay. So she's given up on homework, and I'm going to have her just go ahead and go home because she really needs to take care of all her needs. Because she is a mess. Oh, you get to see her in a new outfit now because it's cold outside. And she's just going to waddle the whole way home, which is going to be great. Alright, so we're back home, and for whatever reason, Kari has decided to go through the back door instead of the front. But whatever, we're gonna let her take care of herself. And luckily for her, her dad is already in bed, otherwise I think he'd have some stuff to say about how she got home late. And she has only done her, like, she hasn't even finished her homework yet. So, pretty good for her that he's already asleep. Her mom is less so, like, she's not as worried about it. I think her mom knows that she'll get around to it, so she's not as worried. Alright, so now everybody's in bed and ready for Harvest Fest tomorrow. Okay, so it's officially Harvest Fest and Kari is the last one to get out of bed. She's still in bed. I'm going to go ahead and wake her up though because she's pretty much full and there are some gnomes that need dealing with. So I'm going to have her come down and try to appease the gnomes. 
Um, let's give this one a future cube. Let me give that one copy. Oh no, that gnome did not like the future cube. Great. Um, well, for this last gnome, we'll give him... Oh my god, they didn't like the coffee either. Oh, let's give it some pie. Let's try that instead. Um, well, her mom was taking care of the garden, but she's all done. So let's have her come up and try to fix this. Maybe plead for forgiveness. And Kari just gave up on talking to the other gnome. Of course she did. No, don't go eat your dad's cooking right now. She's going through a phase. Kari is going through a phase. She's feeling distant and will prefer to be alone for a while. Oh, okay. That works. I'm sure she probably is feeling a little distant. She's been pressured so hard for work and she just wants to relax and play her music. She wants to chill out for a little bit. All right, how are things going here with the gnomes? <gasps> oh no! Oh, yes. <laughs> it's just a shocker. Oh my god, that's not something to be happy about. Plead for forgiveness. Oh, you go ask for forgiveness from this one. <laughs> Did that one actually forgive her? Oh my god, it shocked her again. They're trying to kill her. They're trying to kill her. Oh my god. They're trying to kill them both. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do? I just want them to be happy and leave us alone. Plead for forgiveness. No, again? Seriously? These gnomes are so mean. I've never had gnomes be so mean to me before. I have literally never had this much trouble with Harvest Fest gnomes. Never. Please. Oh my god. Again? Dude. Oh my god, both of them. No, we're done. Uh, what can I do with these gnomes? He's- what an asshole. I cannot believe this. You shocked her three times. Okay, you know what? We're gonna... No, screw it. We're gonna sell them. Usually, I like I like to pl I like to make them happy so that they'll give me seed packets because then you can sell all the seed packets. But fuck this, man. These gnomes are mean. All right, we're just gonna sell them all because I'm not dealing with this. Bye bye, bye bitch. See ya. All right, there we go couple hundred bucks and no more gnomes. All right, don't know how you could possibly be feeling confident. Happy gnome, happy home. You only appeased one. The other two shocked you like four times. Get over yourself, hun. So Thomas is almost done with the grand breakfast and the girls are coming downstairs. Corinne's off to sell one of her books because uh, Corinne's actually a writer and she just finished a book yesterday morning. So she's selling that. And I think Kari is about to do her homework that she didn't finish yesterday. Or she's just gonna stand there doing nothing. Either one. Alright, here we go. Now she's doing her homework. Alright, so it looks like her dad has finished cooking, but it seems like his mood has gotten a little bad. He's looking kind of angry right now. Yeah, he's been looking pretty mad since Kari came into the room, and now he's like stomping over. He's just like stewing in silence. Okay. Well, Kari's finished her homework, and what's she doing? Chat with Thomas. Oh, is it gonna be a good chat or a bad chat? He looks pretty mad. She just changed seats. To talk to him. Oh no. He must be mad. Seeing her do her homework in the morning, he's probably pissed off. He's like, "You should have done this yesterday." Why isn't it done yet? Like, this is ridiculous. Your mom said you were out with your friend last night. Like, you should have been working. Like, why isn't your homework done already? What about your extra credit work? Is that done yet? I feel like he's just complaining about all of that. And just chewing her out on the hardest of this morning. Not very nice. Oh, there he goes again, yelling at her. Jeez. Oh no. She's fighting back now. She's arguing. She's probably saying that like it's not her fault and like she's still got her homework done. She's got a day off. Like there's no reason for him to be so upset at her. Aggravating conversation. 
familial distress. I just need to escape this family. Oh my god. She must be thinking about leaving. Well, it seems like things have calmed down. She's just going to get her breakfast. And she's still willing to sit by him, so I guess that's a good sign. It seems like they're okay. Oh. Or not. They're straight into arguing again. Okay. Oh, he doesn't even want to listen to what she has to say. And her mom is just not even listening at all. She's just walking away. Not even helping. Not standing up for Kari at all. Okay, well now he's done it. Kari is officially enraged. Um, aggravating conversation. Riled up. And argument loser. Great. And it's overwhelmed all of her happy moodlets here. Meanwhile, her dad is discovering that he likes fitness. <laughs> Great. So that's not going to make her even more upset. Uh, I'm going to have her exit this conversation and we're going to have her go to her room and play her guitar to try to calm down. All right. So she's just vibing out, trying to get rid of all this built up anger, just trying to calm herself down and really just get back in the swing of things so she can enjoy the rest of the holiday. You can see it's already doing wonders, making her so much happier. So Kari's just put her guitar down, and her dad has come in to yell at her again. Oh my goodness. He just cannot let her enjoy herself. Like, she's just trying to calm down at this point. Did he just curse at her? He, he legit just cursed at her. Oh my god. She just finally like started to calm down, and now he's making her he's riling her up again. Is he calling her trash, or is he saying to throw out her hobby? Uh, probably saying to throw out her hobby. I don't think he'd go so far as to call his own daughter trash, but yeah, it, again like a hobby thing. He's saying not to do these things, so he's like coming at her and like telling her that she can't be doing this and this is why she's yelling at. Meanwhile, her friend Yuki, who also loves music, is trying to text her to see if she wants to hang out tonight. And, you know, usually she wouldn't leave and go anywhere on Harvest Fest, but maybe with how her dad's acting today, she just might. Alright, and a very angry Kari has come upstairs. She's putting her guitar in her inventory, and I think she's ready to head out. She's gonna go ahead and call one of her friends and see if she can crash at their place for tonight because she just cannot be at home with her dad today. It is gonna drive her crazy. Um, I think she's gonna go ahead and call Yuki because Yuki was her friend who texted her earlier and wanted to invite her over, so maybe she'll just run to Yuki's place. Plus, Yuki loves music too, so maybe she thinks that Yuki will be a little more understanding of her situation. Yeah, there she is. Yuki's answering. I'm sorry you're feeling angry. Let's go cool off at the pool. Yep. And she's going to go ahead and go. Alright, so it looks like Yuki invited Kari to the pool to try to chill, chill her out a little bit. Uh, maybe this just happened to be where Yuki was when she called. But I'm going to have her go ahead and complain about her parents first off because that's what's really pissing her off. Um, maybe just talk to her a little bit, get some of her, express some of her feelings, be like, I can't believe they're doing this to me again. I can't believe they're yelling at me. Like even on Harvest Fest, like he couldn't even let me play my guitar just to calm down. Like, I just think it'd be really annoying. She just want to talk and get all her emotions out. But she might want to dip out of here because Luna over here is actually in her um, honor student group. And if Luna saw her like flipping out, like getting upset about having to do her homework, she'd get really upset about her and be like, hey, what are you doing? You should go back and talk to your parents. And it's really the last thing Kari wants to do right now. So I think she's probably going to ask Yuki if they can head off somewhere else. Alright, so I feel like Kari's probably asking Yuki if they can go somewhere where there's music because, of course, music is Kari's escape. That's where she goes all the time when she's upset. So I feel like they'd probably go to one of these karaoke bars. Maybe Honey Pop. 
All right, so now that they're finally here at the karaoke bar, I think they're gonna go ahead and talk a little bit more, and then they'll actually start to like sing and hang out and do whatever. But I think she still needs to chill out for a bit. Okay. But she's still so stressed out. But I'm gonna have them go ahead and go inside and talk for a bit. That way they can listen to, listen to some other people. Well, maybe. <laughs> If Yuki actually comes inside, <laughs> we'll see. Oh, she's not bad. But anyways, we'll have her go ahead. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? Don't be mean to Yuki. Come on, Yuki's here to cheer you up. Now you have to apologize. Oh, now she has a hurt sentiment. Oh my god, you better apologize. Okay, it looks like you did. Yeah, I think now she's just talking to Yuki about how she really doesn't want to do this. And of course, she's walking away. Why is she walking away? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Love that. Where did she even go? Wow. So even her friend who was supposed to be cheering her up has now left her. I guess she's just have some fun watching the performance for a bit. Try to make herself feel better. I think I'm going to have her go up and sing for a minute. I'm just pausing it so nobody else could dig it. Okay. Do you have it? You do. Okay. Talk with who? Gunther and Kaori. Randos. Yeah, but we're just gonna have her try to ch try to chill out and sing for a bit, see if that makes her feel better. Because <laughs> maybe she should just stick to guitar. And even though she's not doing great, her singing has made her feel so much better already. <laughs> God, she's really bad. <laughs> I don't want to move away. I'm sorry, Corey. Definitely stick to guitar. Yikes. Yeah, she's definitely much better with her guitar than she is at singing. But it seems like she's finally having a cool time. She's finally calmed down. If she can just sit and play her music and really enjoy it. You know, maybe if she wasn't at home constantly dealing with all her parents yelling at her, well, her dad yelling at her and her mom not really helping, maybe she'd get to play music all the time. Maybe she'd just feel all that much better. But I guess that's for Kari to find out soon. And we'll see what Kari decides in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you later. Bye.